Uh, good afternoon to you. We're just before the noon gun here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. My name is Matthew, and you are in the moments. Uh, the 26th day of February, 2024. It's a Monday. Uh, it's eviction day for the unhoused here at one of the five encampments that's being closed as of sunset today. Uh, residents have to vacate five encampments. And I can tell you presently, right now, there are 15. 15 occupants still here in Grand Parade Square. Where are those individuals gonna be tomorrow morning? Unless a miracle happens today, they're gonna be right here. Uh, and I'm joined the lovely Halifax Councillor Pam Lovelace. Pam, welcome. Hey Matt, thank you so much. Thank you for taking the time to uh, have a quick chat. What, what are your thoughts on what's happening, transpiring here behind us? Well, there's a couple of things I'm, I'm really disappointed actually and, and upset uh, by the fact that there are protesters in Grand Parade, basically on the doorstep and in the living room of people who were living here in Grand Parade, some of whom have been through an awful lot. And Matt, as you know, I've been spending a lot of time here getting to know residents and getting to know what supports they need, um, chatting with uh, various different service providers and, and provincial government to understand what is the hold up with being mm. able to provide housing to people people who want housing, who have identified specifically what kind of housing they need. Um, and so to me, the uh, very disappointing fact is that individuals are feeling, and these are the words of those who are unhoused, saying that they feel humiliated right now, mm -hmm. that they're being used uh, and, and uh, you know, by the protest that's happening here. In actual fact, what we need is for them to get housing, housing that works for them, because housing first is the best and possible way to help people who are living unhoused in our city. And so my call to the provincial government is to get the gatekeepers out of the way, move uh, faster on getting paperwork done, or put the paperwork aside. And let's just get the housing for people who have already been identified for housing. Well, that's, uh, that's a great message. I couldn't agree more. Uh, this is going to be uh, an interesting few days here. Yes. Uh, we know that residents pretty much have till the end of the day to find other accommodations. Uh, I know the Premier is on record. He is agreeing with, with the city that the individuals have to find other accommodations. And it may be just as simple as packing up your tent at this encampment and going to another encampment. What are your thoughts on that? Well, right, and you know, on Friday, there were people who had packed up their tents and they were ready to go because they were told that they had housing um, and then they were not able to go. Yes. So for some people, um, you know, if there is no other option for them and they haven't yet been able to choose an option or that option hasn't been made available, then uh, I'm, I'm not in favor of just removing people from the tent right now. I am in favor of ensuring uh, that no one's left behind to make sure that people are actually getting what service they need. And as you know, there are some serious health issues. There are some very uh, serious concerns with regards to people not receiving health care that they need and not getting at, not having access to mental health care um, and so on and so forth. So again, I would like the Department of Community Services um, and provincial government to, to get the job done. I'd love to see the minister, uh, Minister Brendan McGuire down here today. Me too. I was actually hoping that he would be here. I know that uh, MLA Lisa Lachance stopped in. Yeah. Uh, maybe she'll be back a little bit later today, but thank you, Pam, for, for your words. I appreciate that. Well, thank you, Matthew. You and Steve um, have kept people alive and uh, helped people, uh, directed them to the resources they need so that they can sleep in a safe, warm bed. So um, volunteers like you, I, I sincerely appreciate. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Okay, uh, we're live here at Grand Parade Square. Uh, Halifax Councillor Pam Lovelace. Thank you so much, Pam. My name is Matthew, and you, again, are caught up in the moment.